Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tim's Tensei episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode was one of the most, uh, what can I say, visually appealing, beautiful, like fantastic animation uh, type of episode and like like we saw like what they were able to do with this show and i'm so much impressed with it the way they especially you know the way uh, glenn came in and it like faded to black and black and white it faded to black and white and then like suddenly there was like this like sound effect of like weapon and then bam the person just blasted off into pieces like that was really impressive i loved it and like uh yeah like that was something that i at least i was not expecting and they like pulled it off so good and also um in the previous episode we meet a new character uh which is what was her name eris yeah eris yeah uh the sundre of this uh i'm guessing this show i'm not sure if there are any other sundres like Ex like ex except her but like uh she is a bit too sundre too much but like like not, like it doesn't matter to me like i love all types of sundres and like it was really great to see like <laughs> like her in action and i'm guessing like she kind of uh, like accepted rudy as a teacher and um even though like rudy kind of messed up uh, but it's not Rudy's fault because obviously like he had the father's permission and it was like you know uh, like bad timing and all like kind of like unfortunate situation it was bad luck in like in one word so yeah anyways uh, let's get started with this episode let's see what like this episode brings uh, what else Rudy does so without further ado let's get started with Mushoku Tensei episode number six all right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, all right, because he's a mayor. Wait, what? Physically? Yeah, definitely, or else, like, other people will, like, put their eye on him. Hmm. Oh, and that as well, okay. Hmm. Okay, a lot of things happening in the background. Oh, is this the mom? Damn, she, she's beautiful. I admit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, if you like make a face like that, obviously people will. <laughs> Who the? Who is this? Everyone says that. Oh. This is another great ad. Oh, it's father. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this guy's good with words. <laughs> <laughs> Runs in the blood. <laughs> Everyone's a sundre. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> yes. That's a Sundre. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> this is every day for them, isn't it? <laughs> the way you say it is. Aries. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, is she good? Oh no. I thought she was going to flap, slap him again. What the hell is this? Um, oh. Like, oh, okay. Um, what the hell is that? Is that some kind of, uh, Oh. Okay, don't. <laughs> yeah, don't do this outside. Like, in front of Rudius, it's okay. But not outside. <laughs> Woken up by bunny girls. <laughs> now that's life. Oh, he, she's been woken up. Oh my god. I thought Rudius was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gilling. <laughs> oh. Damn. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, so Gilen is learning magic from him as well. Oh yeah, she said something about like teaching her. Okay. What is this? Oh, she's he's making a uh, Roxy's uh, figurine. <laughs> Damn, like he is able to, that means he is able to control his magic so well that he can make figurines and everything. That's quite a good, like, you know, control. Oh, it's the abacus. Oh, he's also teaching her, like, you know, studying. What are you burning? What are you burning? You're burning your whole house down, what the hell? <laughs> what happened? Wait, what? One month. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Oh. It's sleeping in the barn house? <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> oh my god, this face. Oh, Rudy, please! Oh, god damn. Now he's gonna get slapped or punched or something. Oh, maybe not. Oh my god. 
Rudy, calm yourself. Calm yourself. Control. Control, Rudy. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. <laughs> Um, um, <laughs> he's fast. <laughs> oh, oh, he still had the hand. Oh my god, I did not, I did not see that. <laughs> I did not see that. Like, I thought like, he took his hand away, but no. What the? <laughs> oh. She doesn't want to study at all. <laughs> okay. Fangs of Blackpool. One mage and one clan. Oh, the. Yeah. Paul was there. Like, was. Oh, yeah, her mom was also there, I think. She was a healer or something. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of true. People can, like, you know, like, fool you like that. What? Oh! Yeah. Why are you so fascinated? <laughs> <laughs> she she got inspired after hearing that story. <laughs> okay. In swordsmanship, I think er er Eris is better than Rudius, isn't it? <coughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, like reflex. Like muscle memory. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. 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 Okay, hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, her, his bullying. Yeah, that I think that has some kind of a effect. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hmm, got beaten up. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, he made all the figurines. 
Damn. Five years. <laughs> oh my god, five years. Oh, it's fall. Oh, why? What happened? Oh, why is, why is she so angry? What's the matter? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she has no time off. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, she's wearing a new dress. I'm sure this make a fine word. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he also all of these things in, you know, video games and everything. Now he's like living in it. One Asura copper piece. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, what is this? Quite beautiful. Medicine. Wow. Why are you selling this to this uh, to a kid? What the hell? Present for your daddy? What? Who bring buys a present like this for his dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hmm. How to make a profit? Hmm. <laughs> he's, he's mixing, you know, studies and uh, practical things. <laughs> Glenn is also counting. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay. I didn't even listen to the, like, you know, question. <laughs> the guy. <laughs> All right. Seven gold gold. Oh. Damn. That's quite a month. yeah. Um, I think she might have. You know, they're pretty rich. <clears throat> hmm. 
Oh yeah, we st even don't know. How much does he get paid? Five, okay. Oh, two. Okay. Yes, like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh no, she's not happy with that. <laughs> Oh yeah, she she just ask asks her, you know, uh, parents and everyone like just get, like bring me that, bring me that, and she never like gets money herself. But now if she gets some kind of pocket money, she herself will be able to you know uh, calculate and uh, like use them frugally. What is that? What? Is that a floating island? Rise Armored Dragon King. Whoa, what? Demon God Lapless. Wow, Lapless is. Yeah, Lapless, you know, there's the thing called Lapless's Demon, you know, I think it's uh, like quantum physics or something. Oh, okay. Oh, he's talking about that. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 400 years. I bet he'll go one day, you know, who knows. One uh, day off a week, okay. Hmm, yeah, okay. What the, why? <laughs> Um <laughs> Okay. Um <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um Oh <laughs> yen, yen. Oh no <laughs> Run Run Rudy run What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this was a really happy, you know, uh, funny episode. And yeah. So, uh, okay, so um, we see like, uh, obviously this is like anime as, as we've seen. It like the time passes a little bit quicker than the other animes. And I think it's already um, four or five months. Yeah. I'm not sure the actual time frame that they are having now, but um, yeah, it's, I think it's something like that. Like he kind of like mentioned before that uh, like he is like doing this for one month. So I'm guessing after that also like some time passed. So 
like i'm just waiting for when it will like you know get another time skip because it kind of like got a like frequent time skips here and there so yeah and we can see that eris is like slowly warming up to him and that's good like you know um and uh, like he's like teaching eris and gilane about all of the you know studying like stuff mathematics science and the other things and in turn he is getting money and also training from Ghislaine and swordsmanship and also like he is like uh, teaching them apart from studying he is also teaching them magic so um i think it's kind of uh, you know okay that's the end uh, it's kind of a fair transaction you know that uh, like rudy is teaching them two things like uh, the basics like studying things that we usually study and uh, along with that magic two things and he's getting two things in return uh, number one is like the money that he's getting and the other one is uh, the swordsmanship training so it's quite fair and <clears throat> then um okay let's like talk about this episode first of all <laughs> his family members are quite you know um uh, fun guys uh <laughs> his like uh, uh like her grandfather grandfather isn't it yeah grandfather um he like <laughs> he's just like eris but his like dad is pretty, quite different in like personality his dad is uh, you know those kind of characters who has those eyes does his dad have his eyes closed just let me check like you know uh, eyes closed people are kind of <laughs> yeah he has his eyes closed did he even like open his eyes i don't think so or maybe i think he maybe opened his eyes in the previous episode when like uh Eris was uh, kidnapped or something like when she came back I'm not sure i didn't even notice but i'll have to like keep an eye out you know like you know always there's, there's this thing in anime that eyes closed uh characters are <laughs> like are like so powerful when like they open their eyes or something. <laughs> so yeah like uh, he's one of those guys who is quite like you know cunning crafty uh, but a good person uh, he's one of those characters uh, he's definitely not like his uh uh daughter uh in like obviously he's not a sundre but his grandfather is a sundre and i'm not sure about her mom like she seemed pretty you know um quiet like didn't say anything kind of like looked like she was a bit annoyed with rudy uh, but obviously like rudy was <laughs> like up to his own antics you know the way he like smiles like that <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the reason why, like, she kind of got pissed at Rudy or what, but oh well, and uh, that and <clears throat> yeah, and uh, his family is quite, you know, uh, like it's happy family, and obviously, um, uh, the like Rudy is like going to like live here for five years, so uh, he is like how much old now? I think eleven or twelve. I'm not sure. So he like after I'm sure like after the five year ends, yeah he will be like you know a teenager. So that's one thing that uh, like I'm looking forward to like how he will you know become stronger and change. Like five years is a lot of thing and like doing training uh, with Ghislaine for five years, um, I'm sure like you know he will become like so good with uh, swords and everything. Like uh, like let's just see what actually happens. Mm, that and like nothing much to talk about in this episode because this was so you know a slice of lifey type of an episode and it was like uh, everything was like so f like funny and uh, like entertaining and everyone was like, like having a great time like i really like this thing about this uh, show you know this whole um slice of lifey part like uh i think we like we've never gotten an isekai which was uh, this kind of had a slice of life element did we Mm, i don't think so like usually isekais are like you know this like source uh magic and you know like leveling up and uh, fighting monsters going to dungeons and all this stuff but i doubt we got uh isekai like this i don't think so i cannot remember if even if we have gotten it i really cannot remember 
um anyways um that and <clears throat> yeah as, as i was saying so i am really like you know really glad that this is like this uh it's like you know it has like action uh here it has action portions where like there's like fighting and everything and when they does uh, do it it's like done brilliantly but uh like yeah we needed this i think you know like we are always seeing this kind of like fighting bosses killing monsters again like leveling up again grinding 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 and but we needed like a like a, like an anime like this which is quite lighthearted and like happy type of a show so and also and especially the main characters like i'm really liking rudy and like <laughs> Sometimes he is a bit, you know, um, a bit too much. The way he was like, uh, kind of like, <laughs> like, kind of like, you know, feeling up uh, Eris in the barn. And he, he like, he, you know, he like, he, like goes off the rails a bit, uh, like quite a bit, uh, like, like quite sometimes. And um, yeah, I think we'll like get used to it <laughs> soon. <laughs> So yeah, <clears throat> but he's a, like he's a quite a good person. Uh, he like sincere and everything, and uh, like we can like you know uh, sometimes see the like he has a few problems that he was like Ghislaine was talking about. Like when he is being attacked, he kind of you know uh, gets scared, uh, which I'm sure the reason behind that is his bullying in the previous world um obviously like he has always been this like you know the person who people beat up bullied so usually when people attacks him he you know he kind of like gets frightened and i think that's the reason why like gillian like uh was uh saying like like gillian kind of noticed that and <clears throat> i don't know if this will like uh make problems for him later on or not but you know he can attack well but he should also know how to defend well well <clears throat> because like uh, fighting is always like two things like you like hurt someone the same person hurts you back so like if you can only hurt someone and cannot like take like injury well like it won't do uh, like it, it will like make problems for you later on but <laughs> like <laughs> But Eris kind of beats him up every day, so <laughs> I think he'll get pretty used to it sooner or later. <laughs> oh my god. And <clears throat> like I really was not expecting, you know, Eris to become so uh what can I say? Like so used to him so quickly. Um because obviously like uh characters like her usually keep on that Sundre kind of thing. Yeah, he she is a bit, you know, uh like kind of like violent on like rudeus but uh like she's pretty understandable like um one thing i've like uh like uh, soon this kind of like uh overdoes it like a few soon this kind of overdoes it is the you know uh the thing about um like being uh what can i say like not like listening to the uh others at all you know they're like a uh, kind of stubborn and everything uh but uh like eris is like I'm, I'm seeing that Ares is not like that. Like when uh, he is like told something, she usually like thinks about it and like makes a decision for herself. And you know, like in this episode when uh, like <clears throat> Rudius told him, uh, told her that uh, like you should not like you know uh, spend money like this, uh, like uh, nonchalantly un unless and until you uh, like earn it yourself. And you uh, if uh, something like that when he said. Uh, Eris listened to it and then she like uh, listened to it thought about it and I'm sure like she came into a decision and asked uh, you know uh, her parents about like giving her pocket money which she can get and she herself will be able to use it uh, instead of like going to her parents and always like uh, like asking for stuff so he listens to people and uh, in the previous episode as well yeah, like uh, when she was kidnapped he listened to Rudy he was not uh, you know um, uh like she, she like she did stuff uh which uh, like she understands stuff and she like listens to people so this is a good thing which i really was not sure if she would have had because usually sundres kind of don't have that thing 
uh, like there are differences like there are like exceptions always uh, a few like uh, sundaris uh, has this kind of exceptions for example <clears throat> um a lot of sundaris like i have to like think about a few if i have to so sakarin uh, she kind of uh, she kind of like you know listens to people as well so she's like that so i'm really glad about that because obviously the thing that makes you know there's this whole thing with sundaris people usually do not like them i've seen a lot of people who like hates on sundaris which it's quite a shame but uh, they usually hate them for like this kind of things like they kind of overdo it so <clears throat> i'm glad that uh, like eris is not like that but like i'm an exception you know i love each and every type of sundaris <laughs> like <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> i'm an exception but i really want you know other people to also enjoy the characters uh, as much as i am enjoying it them and that was it and uh, what else oh and then we get got uh, like information about the floating uh, island or whatever that was oh and another thing <clears throat> they're talking about lapless now <clears throat> as far as i can remember there is a uh, you know a thing called laplace's demon in quantum physics i really cannot remember what it actually was i think it's something with uh, like some kind of energy kind of thing i, I really cannot remember um, it was like mentioned in uh, bunny girl senpai you guys have seen it and i like from that like laplace's demon so like uh, when Rudy was saying that uh, wasn't uh, haven't I heard of uh, this Laplace person? I thought that maybe he was remembering you know uh, stuff from <laughs> like his you know, visual novels or like MMOs. Like usually like these kind of things like have a, like Laplace or like these type of demons. And you know there's like a lot of animals and uh, stuff which like mentions these kind of quantum physics stuff. I was thinking like he maybe he was like remembering something from that. But turns out that is not the case. Uh, he was. Uh, remembering the stories that his parents told him uh, when he was you know when he was a, a lot younger so <clears throat> now so that was it and um, that uh, island it has been like floating for 400 years and Rudy said that maybe I will go there and I'm I think like yeah maybe he will go otherwise <clears throat> like uh, they won't like mention it like this this is like some kind of foreshadowing i think so yeah <clears throat> and but it will take quite a while you know uh, like gilen is a uh, sword king i think like uh, like as he said that if i'll be able to go there as well uh, the time when he will be able to go there will be when he will be even more stronger than gilen you know and i'm sure like he will get there uh but um, I don't know, like, uh, like I'm thinking, like maybe he will be able to surpass Ghislaine or not. Like uh, he is usually a mage, you know. So he, like, one thing I can like definitely say is he will definitely surpass Roxy. And he, he kind of like was surpassed Roxy like before when he like uh, when Roxy came. Like Roxy was kind of you know uh, did not know a lot of spells, but uh, like after like seeing Rudy was so like proficient in like uh, magic she herself got a light uh, you know a little bit of like uh, like inspiration not inspiration but a little bit of uh, like desire to like uh, become more good at magic and she became you know this kind of like she practiced more and surpassed Rudy but I'm sure she will be able to surpass Roxy again and maybe he will you know become this kind of uh, uh, like magic I'm not sure if there is something called magic king or something but uh, like just like a sword king so maybe he'll be able to become like that but I'm really not sure about uh, the sword thing because that is not something that he is you know uh, like swordsmanship he uh, I am really not sure like this is just a guess but I don't think he'll be able to you know progress more in uh, like swordsmanship he will be strong definitely strong like he might even like you know uh, become a sword king or something but I doubt he will be able to like surpass that because his main thing is magic. This is, these are like all guesses. I might be completely wrong. But at least I think that he will be, you know, uh, stressing on the magic portion. Because that's one thing that he's able to do extremely well. 
obviously like uh, he won't be able to like master each and everything like that will like literally make him a god which i don't know whether like if something like that that will happen or not but um yeah let's just see like i'm like thinking too much into the future anyways um yeah and um yeah what else like nothing else to say um uh, this was a pretty you know a uh, lighthearted kind of uh, episode like every episode is kind of lighthearted but still uh like it has a bits and portions of you know uh like kind of little bits of portions of dark stuff for example in the previous episode when uh like <clears throat> he's kind of got beaten up uh, so badly and I re- I, at that time i was really like you know like i was kind of shocked as they how like like in this show at least like they beat her up so badly and they even showed us like how like you know Aries's like was blood was like flowing out of her mouth and everything and she was badly bruised so that was a real shock like i really did not expect something like that from uh, like at least in this show but uh otherwise like it's quite you know <laughs> like light hearted and oh also another thing um, i'm really like liking how rudy is teaching them you know he is uh, making these kind of things like uh, practical things bringing these kind of practical things into question and like asking uh, like Aries and also Ghislaine to like use these kind like use the like knowledge that they have gained into these practical things which is a really good way to teach someone you know like if you always like do these kind of things uh, like theoretically like you might become like good at theoretical work but when you it, like it time time comes for you to apply it on your daily like jobs and everything it kind of becomes a you know problem like obviously you will like uh, like you will learn eventually but like people kind of like struggle at that so the way he's teaching it like he is like theoretically teaching them then like taking them outside and like giving them small little questions and saying that if this is like uh, like uh, this much money so and so how much will you be able to buy and just do it and like tell me and they're like uh, calculating it and using all of the knowledge that they've gained in practical stuff that's a good way to teach and obviously this is possible because rudy is old you know like he's like being able to like teach them so well because he has that knowledge he is kind of mature in his mind so yeah <clears throat> and <laughs> Like uh, one thing I have to say is Rudy is really able to you know uh, like hide his like age from the others. Like he does kind of like a few stuffs which are like impossible for little kids to do, but he kind of like you know camouflages it well and uh, like doesn't let others like become suspicious of him. Like how is he able to do these kind of things? So <laughs> that's something that like you know that he really does well. obviously he is a master like negotiator as we know like he is uh, like the previous world's knowledge <laughs> and so he is pretty like intelligent so yeah anyways guys so that's it and uh, this uh, that was this episode and um, yeah i can't see anything that i have missed like i've yeah that's it nothing else So yeah guys that was it guys so thank you guys for watching this was a um, mushoku tensei episode number 6 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed and comment down below excuse me anything you want to say anything you want to like uh, share i'll be sure to check them out so so yeah guys i'm um, i'll be back with another mushoku tensei episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day